I am Anil Kumar. Welcome to my YouTube channel and the website globalmathinstitute.com. In this video, we will discuss about moments of forces. We are considering uniform rod. There are three examples to consider. The basic idea is to understand the concepts. So in question number one and two, we are taking uniform rod and working on the reactions. And in question number three, we'll take uniform light rod. I hope you understand the difference between the two. The light rod, the weight is neglected. The question here is, AB is a uniform rod of length 10 meters and weight 20 newtons resting horizontally on supports P and Q as shown in the diagram. Find the magnitude of the reactions at P and Q. So those are the points P and Q at which you have to find the reactions. I'd like you to pause the video, answer these questions and then look into my suggestions. Now, when you solve question number one and two, you can also derive a general formula to solve such questions. That is kind of important. Now, a similar question has been taken with light rod. Now, the question is, AB is a uniform light rod of length 10 meters resting horizontally on supports P and Q, as shown in the diagram. Find the magnitude of reaction at P and Q. Correct. So X and Y is unknown, which you need to find. So let's begin with the basic definition of rigid bodies and what the rods are. So as you know, the rigid body is a solid body in which deformation is neglected and it is almost zero. We do take rotational effects of forces. They cannot be neglected as it was being neglected for particles, correct? So that is one difference between particles and rigid bodies. Now, when it comes to rod, rod is a rigid body with one dimension. So we only consider length and not the thickness. That means thickness is negligible as compared to the length of the rod. Now, lamina is a rigid body with two dimensions where thickness is neglected like piece of paper and uniform bodies is a mass is distributed uniformly over the entire volume and can be considered to be concentrated at the center of the body. Light object means mass of the object can be neglected. So let's begin with solving question number one now. I hope you must have already got some solution for this. You can check your solution with mine. So the question is that we have AB, a uniform rod of length 10 meters, whose weight is 20 newtons. So weight is 20 newtons, which will act right in the center. And this center will be 5 units from A, right? So it is 5 units from A. So we are already 2 units from A to P. So from P to the center point, it will be 3 units, correct? So that is how we can work out the distances. So let's call this point as a midpoint capital M. Okay, we need to find the reaction at P and Q. Best thing is to resolve the forces vertically first. So let's look into vertical forces. Equilibrium means forces acting upwards and downwards should be equal. And therefore, the force at P which is the reaction force Rp and the reaction force Rq. They are the upward force, right? So Rp plus Rq should be equal to the downward force, which is the weight, uh, which is 20 newtons. So that becomes our first equation. Now, for getting the Rp and Rq, the reaction values, we can take moments about the points, right? So now let's find the moments. So we'll take moments about point P. So that will help us to find RQ since moment due to RP 
at this point will be zero curling so at this point we have moment due to the weight of the rod and due to r cube so moments due to weight is how much so due to weight which is 20 newton at p will be clockwise right so that will be clockwise let me give this direction as in a color like this so this is causing a clockwise moment right so it is 20 newtons force into distance right so it is force into distance basically that's the formula so we will write down the values which is 20 newtons times 3 meters and the direction being clockwise is that clear to you so we have this clockwise moment now let's see due to r cube now due to r cube the moment will be what RQ is acting in this direction, so that will cause a counterclockwise, and therefore we'll write this as counterclockwise rotation at P, which is RQ times the distance. So distance from RQ is given to us as how many units? With P, it is six meters. Six meters, right? So this is counterclockwise. Now, both clockwise and counterclockwise should be equal, right? So, we know that these moments should be equal. And therefore, we come up with our equation. And that is, so let me write down here that clockwise, counterclockwise should be equal to clockwise moments. Right? So, now we will based on this solve. So, we have 20 times 3, which is 60 Newton meters is equal to rq times 6 newton meters so that's what we have so rq will be equals to 20 times 3 divided by 6 right so so that is in meters this is newton meters correct this is in meters we are dividing by 6 we get the value rq so RQ can be calculated now as this goes 2 times and as expected it is 10. So we get the RQ value as 10 Newtons. From here we can find what RP is. So RP will be 20 minus 10 which is also 10 Newtons. So when we have a uniform distribution and equally placed supports as shown here in that case you expect equally distributed reaction right so we had equal distribution of reaction correct so we found that rp is equals to rq and both are equals to 10 newton in this particular case so i hope that is absolutely clear now let us see how do we consider the second example where point p is shifted a bit on the right hand side so now the reactions will not be same as expected so we'll again consider rp and rq as the two reactions at these two points and taking vertical forces we can write down the equation that rp plus rq is equal to 20 newtons so that becomes our first equation correct and now we'll resolve the moments about p so the process is same when you're working with forces on a rod right now they can be placed anywhere with the distances let's work out the distances also since we are taking moment about point p so now the weight acting is how far away well as you can see this is 10 meters this is 5 so that is 1 meter correct so total was 5 5 take away 4 gives me 1 meter from here and distance from p and q is 4 units given to us so now because of the weight we have a moment which is 20 times 1 newton meter and this is acting in the 
direction which is clockwise. The other one is R cube, which is acting counterclockwise rotation, which is causing counterclockwise rotation. So it is R cube times the distance between P and Q being 4. So this is counterclockwise. Both should be equal as we did earlier. So we'll say 20 times 1 is equal to 4 times R cube. And that gives you the value of R cube as equal to 20 over 4, which is 5 newtons. Correct? So you know the R cube as 5 newtons. So Rp is 20 minus 5, which is 15 newtons this time. So you can see that since we shifted it to the right, closer to the center, the reaction at P is much, much higher. It is three times. So what we notice here is that Rp is 15 newtons and Rq is only 5 newtons. So this is what happens when you move closer, higher reaction. Perfect. So that is what you should correlate. Right. So I hope that gives you an idea of how the reactions change when we change the position of the support. Now here we have typed out the solution for you. So basically we worked out that the forces acting at P and Q, which are the reactions, their sum should be equal to the weight. And that gives us equation number one. And then we found the moments about a particular point. We chose P as one of our point. Since the object is in equilibrium, moment sum is zero, right? So sum of all the forces into distances, that is the moment, is equal to zero. Or we can say the counterclockwise and the clockwise moments are equal at a particular point, any particular point for that matter, within the system. So we equated and solved the values. Got both 20, both 10 Newton meters, 20 distributed equally in the first case. You can see from the symmetry. In the second case, however, point P was moved more towards the right and that resulted into higher reaction at P, right? So this was much higher as compared to Q three times when it went closer, right? So that is how we can correlate the results. Now let's take the next example, which is we are neglecting the uh, mass. So the weight is zero here. So we are not calling this as a light rod. So the question is, AB is a uniform light rod of length 10 meters resting horizontally on supports P and Q as shown in the diagram. Find the magnitude of the reaction at P and Q. Very similar to previous example, instead of the center force, which is weight, we are given two forces at A and B, 8 and 10. So we'll begin with uh, the vertical resolution of forces. So vertical forces is zero, right? So it's a sigma of forces equals to zero. So that gives us x plus y should be equal to 8 plus 10, which is 18, right? So we get our force. So that becomes our first equation. Now for the second equation, we'll consider moments. Let's choose point P. So we'll say moments about P. Now that sum of moments has to be zero also. So we'll see because of eight, the moment is in which direction? Because of eight at P, it is causing a counterclockwise, right? So it is eight times three, right? Which is 24 Newton meter. And this is counterclockwise. Now let's choose the uh, due to Y. So y will cause, again, a counterclockwise moment. Now here the distance is 5 in between. So it is y times 5, which is 5y Newton meter. And this is also counterclockwise. At B, we have 10 Newton force. And this 10 Newton force is going to cause clockwise moment. So that will be 10. And the distance is 5 plus 2, right? So which is 7. So it is 70. Uh, Newton meters. However, this is clockwise. Now, since it is an equilibrium, right? 
both the moments clockwise and counterclockwise will be equal. So we can say 24 plus 5y is equal to 70, right? So we can now find the value of y. So 5y is equal to 70 minus 24 and which is how much? So 6 and 6 take 4, right? So 46 and so y is equals to 46 divided by 5 which is 9.2 uh, newton. So we get the value of y as 9.2 newton. So the value of x will be what? 18 minus 9.2, which gives us 8.8 .8 Newton, right? So that is how we can easily solve this particular question. So I hope you have understood the solution. So basically, what we are trying to do here is first, we are going to resolve vertically all the forces and their sum is zero, right? So some of all these forces acting on the system is zero. And then we talk about the moments. And the moments are also zero, right? So force into distance is also equal to zero. Sum at any particular point. We chose the point P and this time. We are using uh, the moment equation. And here we are considering the clockwise rotation as positive. It is up to you. So all the clockwise being positive means uh, 10 into 7, which is causing clockwise, that is positive the others were considered as negatives because this is counterclockwise. Do you see that? And this also causes counterclockwise. So counterclockwise, we chose negative and the clockwise as positive. And we wrote the equation as 10 times 7, which is the distance between point P and B. 8 times 3, which is the distance between A and P. And Y is at 5 units from the point P, so PQ, I equated them to zero to find the value of Y as 9.2 Newton meters and using e equation one with the result in two, we found the value of X as 8.8 .8 Newton force, right? So these are acting upwards. So I hope with this, you understand how do we solve questions where moments are involved. We have forces uh, acting on a rod which is in uh, rest or equilibrium. And also we notice that if we move the position of support in that case, uh, as we move closer, the reaction becomes higher at that particular point. You can actually work out a general formula to solve such questions. That should help. I hope it helps. Feel free to write your comment, share your views. If you like and subscribe to my videos, it will be great. Watch the other questions, which we are taking up from examinations of past test papers, and they are going to really help you a lot. Thanks for your time, and all the best.